Louisiana is a very, very special place. And I love it. That whole environment is a visual joy. Like a gumbo of people here. This big melting pot of lots of creative people. It's not only the making of it. It's who comes out to see, the music that's a part of it. It touches into performance. And we are very accepting of so many different ideas because we have so many different cultures. And it, that's extraordinarily nurturing for the artist. This is my home. And I can't take the New Orleans out of my work. We are very much about incorporating the arts in what we love. I mean, it's a very seductive, encouraging atmosphere. It's a city where the arts, they're almost expected. Some of us are going to use the hand to produce. Others can have the joy by, by looking. It's the visualization of what you want, and then seeing that accomplished throughout the process is very most rewarding. I think I really like using my hands best because I really like to get dirty. I feel very comfortable creating something, having fun. I call it dancing. You have to move with this material. When you're making things, by adding materials together, putting colors, uh, putting texture, and, and, and building this life that you see in your head. Your mind is working, your hands are working, and your heart is working. It's kind of a labor of love. You have to want to do it. I'm very much inspired by walking and looking. Looking at things is one of the most important things in life. You can create such a beautiful piece that people are gonna uh, use or, or look at every day. That is incredible. You're letting it go to enhance someone else's life. Art can make you feel, uh, wow, this is great. Thinking about creativity that people can express in everyday life, it's the way people talk, the way people dress. Art is not only an object that's painted or sculpted, it's a way of life. We all have a, a little bit of artists in ourselves. Art is so important in every culture. It's timeless. It really is. It's never finished.